hey, it's to. particularly interesting. A mysterious I object is speeding yeah. through our solar system. <laughs> uh, it's being investigated by astronomers for signs of alien technology. Yeah, well, a team of scientists led by Professor Stephen Hawking currently scanning the cigar-shaped rock for electromagnetic signals that could prove it's an alien spaceship. I mean, Mark Thompson is with us, astronomer, uh, expert Hi. on all things mysterious in space. This thing is an unusual ch shape, isn't it? Yes. So you would expect, if it was an asteroid, you would expect it to be round. Yes. This is a cigar shape. So what people are getting excited about is, is it actually a spaceship? <laughs> doesn't look like a spaceship. <laughs> it doesn't look like is that. it a spaceship? That's an artist impression. OK. But one of the, if we look at all the asteroids in our solar system, most of them are roughly spherical. Yes. Give or take, they're broadly spherical in shape. And this thing is ten times longer than it is wide, which just makes us think it's something unusual. Well, if anybody's seen any Star Wars film, they'll know that looks just <laughs> like a rebel ship. Because the First Order, or what the, was yeah. the Dark this Side, were trying to... the old ones, is yeah, it? Yeah, well, it, it, it generally, the film. generally, the rebel sh ships tend to be cigar-shaped. Do they? Yeah. Well, that could be, but I can't, that's science I can't fiction. That. And we're talking, we're trying to talk about science fact. This, yes, we are. Yes, we so are. So how, how, it's a quarter of a mile long. Yes, it is. 260 foot wide. Yes. It's travelling at almost 200,000 miles an hour. Yes, yeah, so that, that's one of the key reasons it's not even suspicious, but one of the reasons we believe it comes from a place that's beyond our solar system. Now, if it's in our solar system, it would have to be travelling slower for the gravity of the sun to capture it. But because it's going so fast, we're pretty sure it's come from somewhere beyond our solar system. It doesn't in any way prove that it's a spaceship, but it's just simply a theory that if it were, we might be able to detect radiation coming how, from it. How close is it going to get to Earth? Is it going to Well, it's, it's actually gone past us. So, so it's oh, right, travelling so in the other direction. So it came in from the top of the solar system, plunged around the sun, got up to speeds about 80 kilometres per second. Mm. Wow. So it was travelling phenomenal speed, hence it's going to escape the solar system. Passed underneath the Earth, popped up again, the top of the solar system was kind of zipping out again, out towards Jupiter, Saturn and Uranus. So it's leaving the solar system, it's not going to hit us. But, of course, there's a theory that, is it perhaps an alien spaceship? Now, it's an outlandish theory, at, you know, at best, but How it is just a theory. How do you find out if it is? Well, all you simply do is you search for signs of, radi of, of some sort of electromagnetic radiation. So it could be radio waves. Um, with, you know, this show is being transmitted across radio, radio waves. If an alien civilization is listening, they could pick up your transmissions, which is worrying. Would they come and see us? Rather Who exciting. knows? Rather Who knows? exciting. Rather exciting. So if we can look for radio waves coming from the object and we detect them it's possibly a sign that there's intelligence but you know let, let's temper that with a bit of reality that it's more likely to be just a piece of rock that's been destroyed from some kind of impact don't, don't kill it for us don't. sorry uh, but you're you're look you're an astronomer yeah. you, you love space and stars yeah. and bits and pieces yeah. you seem like you're quite calm on yeah. this i'm quite excited about this man have you seen a few too many of these over the years i've seen a few of these and we, we we expect that we probably get pieces of rock from other solar systems probably every couple of times each year. But cigar-shaped ones that once. look like they could be this part the, of the Rebel this Force. This is the only one that's <laughs> ever been detected. It's got lightsabers and everything. <laughs> um, maybe we could pick up that radiation from lightsabers. Yes. Not thought about that. Come on. We'll work on that. If, so, I'm just, I'm just, sorry, one of the things, I know it's travelling away from us now, um, and there's this team of scientists, Breakthrough Listen, they're going to use this directable radio telescope and going to follow it for 10 mm -hmm. hours. It's, it, it's amazing. This is travelling away from us. But imagine if something a quarter of a mile long, 260 feet wide, travelling at 200,000 miles an hour, travelled towards us and hit us. Yes. That's quite a frightening That's prospect. not a good thing. No. <laughs> That's not a good thing. Now, how many things it would hurt. travel close enough to cause scientists to be concerned what? that what? something, <clears throat> you know, could happen? One of the real challenges with, with things like this is that as soon as you spot it, it takes time to study it mm. to be able to understand where it's going to go. So we could see, if we detect an object in the sky for the first time, we've got no idea where it's going. If we observe it over a period of weeks and months, we can work out its path and its trajectory around the solar system. We can work out it's going to hit us or not. It's actually quite rare for something to come so close that we get worried about it. So this doesn't pose any threat. It's not any concern to us. 
it's just a really interesting object that we want to study more. Just for anyone who was concerned, mm. it passed within 15 million miles of us there on October so 15th. But what's really Is interesting? Is that a near miss? No. Okay. Not even, not even, the, moon, the moon's closer to us, a lot closer to mm. us. So there's no, no worry at all. What's really interesting, of course, is that we've we've started studying ways that we might be able to use asteroids for travelling through space. So there are NASA have invested in research to look at ways of using asteroids as spaceship. That's a long way off the future. An engine to it, yeah, or? so attaching engines to it, maybe even hollowing them out so that we could fly inside them. And of course, that's the interesting thing. Is if we're looking at that technology today, what are the aliens looking at? For us, maybe you know someone else has done that as well. Oh. We'll see. Time uh, will tell. If, if one does approach us, of course, we've always got Bruce Willis, who solved the problem the he last time. He was good, time. wasn't he? Yeah, he yeah, was pretty good yeah, with absolutely. the last one that was yeah. coming towards us. And Drill that. some holes, set off some bombs. So. You know, that we've got work. a plan. That would work. It's more than Brexit. Is this? Bruce on? I don't know if Bruce is right. <laughs> yeah. More political satire. Uh, this one's called Omwa Mwa. Very which, good. Which is a Hawaiian term meaning a messenger from afar. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And that's because we think it's come from another solar system. And actually, yes. that it's been given the designation of one eye, meaning interstellar, which is the first time it's, we've ever discovered anything from interstellar space in our that's solar exciting. system. Which is, in itself is a really exciting thing.